Nate Ryan back in studio tonight after an admirable pinch hit job from JC Navarrete in the five o'clock show. I was on the radio call for today's New Mexico State football game against Dixie State. I was gone for like three hours. I get back to my office and JSP, JC spilled all his protein pow powder all over my keyboard. But an exciting three hours that I was gone as NMSU wrapping up their spring football season against Dixie State. Doug Martin has called these games preseason for next fall, a chance for a last look at the young players on the roster, like redshirt freshman quarterback Weston Egypt in his act, in his first action in an Aggie uniform, displaying the toughness that reminds many of bowl winning quarterback Tyler Rogers. 12 yard one from Jerron Price. But look at Egypt out there giving a block on the right flank. That's the QB throwing shoulders. And then a few plays later, Egypt. The Santa Clarita, California native. He's hanging in the pocket. Gunslinger over the middle, Andre Battison from Egypt over the middle. That's six. Egypt, though, down on the field and would have help getting up. A right foot injury, and he would not return. I think it was from the play prior where he was blocking, seen on crutches after the game. No timetable for his return. Enter Jonah Johnson, who started game one, turned it over three times today. No turnovers, two rushing scores. That's one of two on the day, giving the Aggies a touchdown lead. But in the fourth period, NMSU up eight. First playoff, a kickoff. Cody Wilstead, pitch and catch. It's Quali Conley out of the backfield. The wheel route, 75 yards for the score. They'd get the two-point conversion, tie it at 29. But under a minute, Juwan Price. Putting it on ice with 30 seconds to go. This guy resembles a whole lot of Jason Huntley. He can do it in the kickoff return. He can do it out of the backfield. New Mexico State gets the win 36-29. We won't see him until they play Utah next fall. Here's Doug Martin on the win. Tonight was a great step for our team. They've kind of got an us against the world mentality now after tonight, and you can feel it in the locker room. I'm just really proud of them. They've come a long way. and They've been through a lot. They've handled this COVID thing really well. And the guys we have here right now, they're nothing but winners.